Hi, William. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Great to have you in, in class. Let me ask you, did you have any problem uh, logging in? No, my problem it was for for the password. Ah, the password again. Did you change it? Your password? No, no. Oh. The same. The same. Ah, okay. Uh, what about one, you? Yep. One, one number. One number, and I type bug. Oh, okay, okay, but no problem anymore because you are online. That's great. Perfect. Uh, Carlos, did you have any any issue when logging in in Zoom? Carlos. Hello. Good evening. Um, good evening. No, no, I'm logging correct. Ah, okay, okay, pretty good. Um, I was asking you because I have issues with the password about Zoom. That's why I wanted to know, but no problem anymore. Okay, perfect. Guys, uh, welcome. Welcome to the second class of the week, number number three. We are in the week number three. Are you Are you advancing with the assignments in the platform? about the section three how are you doing with uh, with your assignments are you advancing are you developing the exercises section four is for just with no okay all right but remember you need to complete section three at most for saturday as it was informed uh, in the WhatsApp group, because they will be reviewing the, the grades in the platform. So please uh, work on the platform as soon as possible in the section number four for this week number three. Okay, let's hear. Let me share you with my computer. Let me share it to you. Uh, please uh, tell me if you see it. Tell me if you see my computer. Yes. Okay, all right, pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to open your class. Now we are gonna check class number 10. All right, let's begin with the content. We know all this about the skills, about the indications, no problem. Let's see. We are gonna uh, check a little bit more about the topic. My. My relatives. Yes, or in other words, my family. Check. The question is, who? I can help you, teacher. Can you read it? I don't listen to you. Who do you, who do you live with? Uh, okay, I live with my grandmother only, but in my house we have we have three cats. I live with my grandmother and three cats. Imagine three cats in, in a small house. <laughs> it's kind of difficult, but yes, I live with my grandmother in those cats. And you? Who do you live with, uh, William, in, in your house? William or, or Carlos, who do you live with in, in your house? I live... Um, with my girlfriend only. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, pretty good. Uh, what about pets? Do you have any pets there? In this time, no. Ah, okay, we say uh, at the moment. At the moment. At the moment, no. Okay, all right, pretty good. William, who do you live with? 
in your house? Uh, William, hello, William, are you are you attentive? Are you there? Uh, let's check our issues with, with Zoom. Ah, with audio. Okay, no problem then. Okay, you can use the chat to answer the question, who do you live with? Okay, but no problem. When you recover the, the audio, you can participate, no problem. Let's see. Okay, don't worry. Maybe you can rejoin to the, to the Zoom, to the Zoom class. Try that. Yes, Zoom is, is giving some issues, but you can try that. Okay, no problem. Let's see. Oh, maybe the connection. Maybe it's the internet. Okay, Carlos, uh, help me please with, with the title and the sentence that's on the screen. Okay, uh, let's practice some questions to ask about someone's appearance. Someone's, someone's appearance. Okay, we have different questions when you want to talk about someone's appearance. Example, we can talk about Carlos the general appearance. General appearance. What is the question for a general appearance? What the what does he she looks like? I look like. This is the first one. Example. What about if I ask you about uh, your girlfriend, for example? I don't know your girlfriend, and I can make you this question. Ah, okay, that is nice that you live with your girlfriend. Uh, what does she look like? What about if I ask you that? How would you answer the question, Carlos? Check. You have one example about the answer yeah. in the question. He, she is tall and thin. About only one subject, remember. Okay. I asked you uh, about... She is tall okay. and thin. Okay, in the example. But in the real life, can you give me a description about your girlfriend? Using adjectives, of course. You can use adjectives. Appearance adjectives. Appearance adjectives, for example, tall, thin, beautiful, etc. Or you can describe the personality that she has. Uh, she is very, very beautiful and uh, she has curly hair okay. and, and red hair. Some, yeah, igual, es con es el rojo. Ah, okay, but okay, let's let's order a little bit. Let's check because there is a specific order when describing someone's appearance. Let's go back. Let's check. Okay, you began saying she, right? She? She is be very beautiful, you said. Beautiful. Okay, what 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 else? She she has, Carlos, short or long hair? Um, it's middle on termino medio. Ah, middle, middle, middle long, long. And the? and curly. Ah, long, curly, here. Okay, pretty good. Very good. That's nice. Uh, what else? What else? Um, she, she has a blonde skin. Uh, okay, or simple. You can say she's, she's blonde. Or she has, no problem. She has blonde skin. 
Okay, pretty good. What is the difference in those three? Carlos, the difference? Number one, the verb to be, if you use verb to be, you have to use adjective. Adjective. Correct. If you are going to use the verb to be, you have to use adjectives. But if you are going to use the verb have, you are going to use, what is this? Say nouns. Nouns, correct. That's it. That's correct. Ah, sorry. Nouns. That is the difference. We can describe people using adjectives. In this case, beautiful, but with a verb to be. Or we can use nouns. In this case, long, curly hair, but using the verb. The verb uh, has. Yes, has. correct. Questions uh, about this? Questions? Yeah, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, Jonathan. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yeah, what what is the meaning of skin? I, I thought that it was uh, rostro. Ah, rostro is face. Oh, face. okay. His skin okay. is all your body is. You have all your body uh, skin. Oh, okay. Skin. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, face is this, skin is your body. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. No questions, no more. Let's see, let's continue. What else can you can you ask about someone's appearance? Jonathan, the question is. Does he or she wear glasses? Ah, okay. I can make the question to Carlos. Carlos, does your girlfriend wear glasses? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Ah, okay. What is the difference between those two? Number one, open question. Number two, close question. That is the difference. Got it? Yes? Okay, okay. all right. Let's see. Let's see. For the answer yeah, correct. The auxiliary is in, in first place. The opposite happens this. In first place is a WH word. What, who, when, uh, why, and more words to make them open. Correct. That's it. Okay, that is uh, about general appearance. Uh, let's see, Jonathan. What else can you make questions when describing or asking about someone's appearance? You can ask about? The age. The age. And this question is pretty simple. Uh, how old is she? How old is she? Okay, Carlos, how old is uh, your girlfriend? How old is she? Sorry she for the question. I think it's kind of <laughs> kind of personal. <laughs> But it's a question. Uh, yeah, she is the uh, twenty-seven. Sorry, twenty-eight years old. Okay, pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, William, do you have microphone already? Okay, maybe not. Uh, Jonathan, and you, how old are you? I am asking about your age. Yeah, I am. I am thirty years old. Okay, perfect. Simple. Check. Simple. Asking questions about people's age. No problem. That's it. Okay. And okay. And this one, number two, is in the third person. In number one as well. Okay. No issues with this, right? It's pretty simple. How old are you? How old is she? How old are they? No problem. And next, you can make questions about someone's appearance about this. Height. Height. What is the meaning of height? Estatura. Correct. What is the question that you can use? Ideas? 
about the question that you can use when asking about height? WH question. Wish. Uh, uh -huh. Wish, maybe. What is your height? height? What's your height? Ah, what's your height? Can be, puede ser, can be. Let's check. Ah, it is different. Check. The question is. How tall is she? How tall is she? Again, with, with your girlfriend, uh, Carlos. How tall is she? Idea. Don't be specific if you don't know. Uh, she is uh, 1.16 meters. Is the correct words? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, meters, correct. Yes, meters. Uh -huh. Okay, she is uh, 1.16 uh, meters. Ah, okay. If you don't want to use numbers, what can you use? If you don't want to use numbers, you can use? She's very tall. She's very tall, simple. She's very tall. She's uh, kind of kind of small. You can use adjectives when responding this. How tall are you? Jonathan, how tall are you? I am 1.73 meters. Ah, okay, okay. So you are you are tall, in other words. Okay, pretty good. That's it. All right. Um, and the second one is the same one, but only changes the subject. Okay, questions? About this? Questions? Guys? No. Okay. No. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with the next part. Uh, we can ask or make questions when referring about the? Hair. About hair. the hair. hair. Okay, I'm going to ask you about your hair. Do you love your hair, guys? Carlos, Jonathan? Me? Do you yeah, do you love I do you so. like your hair as you have it in this moment? Yes, I do. You like it or you hate it? And <laughs> one option only. Ah. Do you like it or you hate I, it? I, I, I like it. You like it. Okay. You like nice. it. You, you too. I like my hair as well. Yes. The question was close because I asked you, do you like and do you love your hair? Okay, that is close question. Open question about the hair, guys. Ideas? And In how open clean. question. Ah, correct. How, there it is, ahí está. How long is his hair, is his, is yours, is, is, is our, etc. Very good. And you can answer like this. It's it's long, long or it's long it's short or it's short. But what else can you use in the answer besides this? Aparte de it's long or it's short. What else? How long is your hair, guys? Um, it's short. Uh -huh. Ah, but I besides this, bold. besides, aparte de decir it's, it's long or it's short? My hair uh -huh. is correct. Short. Ah, using possessive adjectives. Very good. My hair is, is long. Correct. Using possessive adjectives. This is a possessive adjective. Very good. Possessive adjective. Or you can use as well, the verb has. have or has. That depends on the subject. You can say, uh huh? How long is your hair, guys? How long is it? Oh, can be, uh, I have. Correct. That hair. is the answer. Correct. I have. Sure. Short hair. That's it. Very good. So you have three options. 
using the verb to be, using possessive adjective, or using the verb have as well, like in the previous examples. Okay, when talking about your appearance or someone's appearance. Ah, what else can you ask? What color, what color? is her hair? Uh -huh. Or if the, if the question is for me, how is the question? If the question is for me. What color is his hair or, uh, or your hair? Ah, uh, your, your color. Hair. Yes. Because your is it's about me. Ah, my hair color is is totally black, not painted in any color. <laughs> it's totally black. And and your hair color, what color is your hair, guys? I have uh, brown brown hair. Okay, brown. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Carlos, and you? William, what color? Purple. Purple hair. My Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Ah, okay. Yes, we hear you. What? What, what color is your hair, uh -huh. William? My hair color is black. Black. Okay, very good. It's simple. See? It's pretty simple. Okay, check. Does he have does he have any hair? Does he have any hair? No, uh, he doesn't. He's no, he bald. doesn't. He no. he's a, a bald, bald man. He's a bald man. What is bald? No hair at all. No hair. What is bold? Huh? Calvo. 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 Yes, Calvo. Correct. Pretty good. That's it. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue with the next part. Guys, in this moment, what is indication? So, so one. So one. How your relative describe him her? Ah, okay. We are going to describe one of our relatives in this moment. I'm going to begin with, with this part because I have a, a picture about my family. The examples that you can use are, uh, Carlos, the first uh, sentence, my mother is a senior woman. What is senior? Senior, what is senior? For example, in this picture, who is the senior woman? In this... Madura, no sé. Ah, senior is, is the, formal, the formal word for old. But we don't say old because he's... Is kind of impolite. Old is viejo or vieja, but sounds bad. Suena mal. Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> sounds. Yeah, it's kind of impolite. Okay. Instead, you can use senior, senior. meaning older, que significa mayor, informal vocabulary. Who is the senior woman in the picture? Who is the, the senior? Grand, the grandmother. Ah, but but using a description. Use a description. Ah, okay. I showed you. Is is the older? Ah. The, the ones that have gray hair. Ah, that that is one description. Correct. The senior woman. Is the the lady, let's say, the lady that has short short hair. hair. Correct. Is she using glasses? Yeah. Is the senior woman using glasses? 
Yes. 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 Correct. Okay. Use descriptions about people. Good. The next one. Simple. With the verb to be. She is tall. She is tall. Next, using the verb have. He has short black hair. Who has short black hair in the picture? The, the... Uh, the... Who? Who? The lady that has a baby. <laughs> ah, the lady that has. Remember the simple present tense or the third person of the verb have. Ah, the lady that has the baby. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Next, about the age. She is 54 years old. She is 54 years old. Okay, pretty good. Those are examples. Let's see the exercise in this part. Okay. Uh, she is my grandmother. Follow my example when you show your pictures. She is uh, my grandmother. Her name is uh, Maria Antonia. And her last name is Mendes. She is about, uh, let's see. She is about 86 years old, if I remember well. Uh, she has she has oval face as you as you see in the picture she has oval face uh, she has short black hair she uses uh, glasses you can use other verbs guys not only verb to be or the verb have you can use other verbs uh, according with the appearance. Uh, she uses uh, black glasses. She's, um, she's beautiful. She smiles. Uh, what else? Ah, and she has this beautiful or handsome. She has this handsome little boy. Uh, the baby is Mateo. Mateo is my cousin's son. And the baby is, let me see. The baby is uh, six months old. He's a chicken, baby chicken in this moment. Uh, she has very short uh, brown hair and he has black eyes, check, and his face is a little bit round. He has a round face and he is pretty handsome. And they are my relatives. That's it. Okay. Now your turn. Send a picture in the chat about one relative. Hey, welcome, Gabriel. Welcome, welcome. Yes, uh, share a picture about one relative that you have in your phone. Check your phone for a relative's picture. Send it to the chat and give your description about your relative. I'm gonna give you um, three minutes so you can look for the picture on the phone. Me, because I have it already in the, in the presentation. That's why I had it ready. But you look for one picture about any relative, it can be your mother, your sister, a cousin, Maybe your son, if you have, do you have uh, children, Gabriel, Carlos, Jonathan, William, do you have children? 
She can be uh, any of your children. No. I don't have. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe your your wife, Gabriel, do you have a wife? Yes. Ah, you yes, do? I, I have. Yes, I do. Ah, okay. How long how long have you been married with, with her? Well, um about uh, 16 years. <gasps> wow, really? I didn't know. I didn't have any idea about that. 16 years of marriage, that's a lot. Uh, how old were you when you get married? Sorry, <laughs> because the, of the question, but uh -huh. how well, old were you? I was um, about 26 years. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's great. Okay, no more personal questions, guys. Okay, <laughs> look for one of your pictures about your relatives in the chat. We are going to share them in the class. We are going to practice giving a precise and complete description about your relatives' appearance. Okay. I'm gonna wait uh, two minutes more for you to send it. Welcome, Joel, to the class. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Two minutes, two minutes for your relatives. Picture, any picture you want to share in the chat. Let's see, uh, where do I have the chat? Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, and William, is William in class? Ah, oh, no, he isn't. He's not here. Okay. Okay, don't be shy, guys, about sharing one of your relatives' picture. Don't be shy about it. The purpose is that we practice this topic. Just let me get the computer connection. Connection. Okay. No problem. Okay. Let me know when when you're ready. Let me know. Who wants to break the ice with the presentation? Who wants to be the first one? in sharing your relative's picture. You got it, Joel? You got the picture ready? Hello. You got the picture ready? Uh, okay, the indication is check. Can you read it, Joel? Okay, show show one one of your relative victory and scribe here or here. Okay, or here. I was describing my my relative. She is she is my grandmother. I was describing her. I don't know what time you you entered the class, but I was giving a description, uh, an appearance about my grandmother. She is my grandmother. Her name is uh, Maria Antonia. She has a uh, short black hair. She uses glasses. She is a ninety. She's about ninety three years old. Um, she has a small eyes, as you can see in the picture. Uh, she is she is smiling, and the baby, the baby is Mateo. Mateo is my cousin's son. Uh, he has. 
short brown hair, as you see in the picture. Uh, he has Chinese eyes, as you see. And what else? What else? He is, he is sorry, he is six months old. He is a baby. Okay, that is the exercise that you can give a description about one of your relatives. All right, Joel? Okay, okay. Okay, look for a picture on your phone about one of your relatives. That is the exercise that we are doing in this moment. Uh, my grandmother is small. Ah, in the picture? In the picture, send it if you can. Send it to the chat. Uh, in the chat. The so we can see your relatives. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can send it, no problem. So you can share that with the class. I I shared you the picture about my grandmother and, and Mateo. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you two minutes more so you can look for a picture. Ready, Gabriel, you have the picture? Any of the beautiful pictures you have only one one picture hey and carlos what happened to him he disconnected okay okay guys i'm waiting for one picture just pick one one picture. Ah, uh, you send it in the WhatsApp group, uh, Gabriel. Yes. Ah, oh, okay, no problem. Let me get it from the WhatsApp. No problem. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Guys, do you do you see the picture, Joel? You see? Joel? Hello. Do you see uh, Gabriel's uh, relatives? The picture? Mm. Gabriel, you see it? Yeah, yeah, yes. Of course. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Gabriel, give a complete description about who she is and well, that beautiful uh, little lady that is in the picture. Uh... They are my beautiful um, daughters. Um, both are um, a little bit brunette uh, skin. Um, the old one has 14 years old, the last one uh, is four years old. Um, well, um, they are at the same uh, month. They are of um, July. Both, uh, both little girls. Um, both has um, a black hair. Um, the last one has a short, uh, a strange hair. Um, the all one, all one girl has a, a little bit wrong face. Um, mm -hmm. and she's a very smile. How do you say sonriente? Oh, she, she is, remember, she is, she is smiling. Smiling, all right. Yeah, yeah, correct. Um, 
the first uh, daughter is a uh, a little bit tall. Um, for the fourteen years that she has. All right, perfect. Uh, Gabriel, uh, what is what is uh, the name of your older uh, daughter? What is her name? Her name is Stephanie Abigail. She's Stephanie and the little one. The little one is Melanie Sophia. Ah, okay, pretty good. Now that you say that, remember when you have plural, because they are two, they are two, you can use this, this is structure in English. I'm gonna show you. When you have one one big and one is small, let's say, you can say, she, the, sorry, the older of my daughters is, what is her name? Stephanie. Stephanie, okay. Stephanie. Okay, I'm gonna type it like that. You can use this. Okay. The older of my daughter is Correct. Stephanie. In Spanish, what is the meaning of this? The older. La mayor de mis hijas. Ah, correct, very good. No es porque old is viejo, right? Yeah. But when you use this, you are not saying la it's a comparative. No. Yes, correct. You are comparing ages. Remember, we can use the description about someone's age. And this is one form that you can use. Okay. What about for the little one? How can you say it? Referring to the, the little one. The little one of my daughter is Melanie. Correct. The little one. Or you can say the is she the youngest of your daughters? All right. Is, is she the youngest? Or you yes. have another? No. Ah, okay. Just two. Do, just they, they two. Okay. Yeah. One option. The little one. Or. The youngest. And the complement. All right. The youngest of my is, daughter is Melanie. Is Melanie. Like that. In that way, you're going to be very specific about the ages, uh, about them, all right? Yes. Okay, uh, another thing, you said you used uh, the verb have, but remember that because you use they, the verb is normal, they have. They have black hair, for example. All right, but I hear has, I hear in the third person, but this one would be incorrect. Okay, but it's have. Okay. All right. Okay, pretty good. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, no more, I think. No more about the yeah. description. Ah, yeah, question. How old are they? Sorry. The older one of my daughter is 14 years old. Okay. And the youngest of my daughter is uh, four years old. Four years old. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Gabriel, uh, let's see. Um, any other question? No, I, I guess not. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Questions? Right. Questions about uh, general appearance, about age, about height? We, we didn't ask about height, no problem. But great, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see, Coel, Jonathan, you get the picture of your relatives? Get it ready? It's only one picture. Come on, come on, guys. Uh, I am still searching. Ah, you are still searching. You don't have pictures about your family? No, I, I, my, my cell phone is very low right now. Oh, it's it's yeah. low. This is yeah. low. This is low. It's low. Ah, okay, no problem. 
Ah, we have time yet. No problem. We have time yet. Well, uh, what about you? Could you find any of the beautiful pictures about your relatives? I have many pictures about my relatives on my phone. I take pictures, by the way, guys. I I am a photographer. That's why. <laughs> that's why I have a lot of pictures about my relatives. That's why. Well, ready? Well, well, hello. 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 Ready with a picture about your relatives. It's only one picture. Can be in plural, can be two, three relatives, or only one, as you prefer. Get it ready? ¿La tiene lista? It's not, not, aún no. Ay, come on, come on, not yet. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, uh, the purpose is that you practice the structures about giving descriptions about people. Okay, we have time yet. Let's see, while you look for one picture, let's see if we have, okay, no more content then. Okay, we only finish with your descriptions. Your descriptions is, is a practice, but no more content about it. Okay, guys, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Time is, is advancing. Uh, let me go back with the screen. It's only one picture. I don't believe that you don't have any, at least. I, I, I don't know what this is. Okay, doesn't matter. The the most beautiful picture that you consider, you can share. You have daughters, uh, children, sons, uh, Jonathan? No. Well, well I, I am looking, looking one uh, where is my father and my sister. All right, but, pretty good. But but I didn't find it. You can share it in the WhatsApp group or in the chat, in the platform chat, in Zoom, in Zoom chat, no problem. Okay, let's see, let's see. Don't be shy. Maybe you don't want to share with me your relative's picture. Aha. Okay, William, uh, William and Carlos didn't come back. Okay. Ah, guys, besides that, before we continue, how are you doing with, with the section number four? That is the section for this week. Are you advancing? With the assignments, hello, hello, guys. Are you doing the assignments? Remember, next Saturday, the administrative people are gonna check the grades. Next Saturday, if I am not wrong, in my case, I am on. Um... For 40%. 40% per in the section four? Yes. Okay. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Just remember to have it completed by Saturday. That is the yes, deadline. Yes. Or if you want to advance with the section five, there is no issue, no problem with that. You can do so. Okay. Relatives, no relatives. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Description about your relatives is still pending from Joel and Jonathan. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Uh, la descripción, ¿no puedo? Description, sí, sí. okay. Ah, no problem. Sí, 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 puedo pronunciarla. I, okay. am, I have two children, one, 18, E one nine years. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna help you with that part. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes when we when we speak, we need to separate what what we say in a, in simple sentences. That is the easiest way. The first that you said, I have mm -hmm. how yes. many children? Mm, two. Two. Okay, I have two children. That mm -hmm. is sentence one. Okay. Sentence number two. 18 años uno y uno de nueve años. Ah, okay, very good, good. You have the idea, but you have it in Spanish, which is not bad. But remember that in English, we use the structure as subject. We need to have a subject. We need to have a verb. And finally, we need to have a complement. The same, but in, in English. Oh, well. Lo mismo, pero en English. Okay. Hmm? Eh. Ideas? Guys, can you help her? Can you help him? ¿Lo puede ayudar? Maybe he, he can say uh, the order of his songs. Has. Oh, okay. The older of my sons. This is one option. The older of my son is. How old is he, uh, Joel? The the older. Repeat it. Repeat it, please. Uh, 18 años y 9 años. Uh, repeat it. Repeat this. Uh, I, I have two children. The older of my son is. Eight, 18, you said, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, 18 years old. Years old. Okay. Year old. Years old. The same, lo mismo, pero para el menor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the holder. Uh, the opposite. What is the opposite of older? El opuesto de older? The youngest. Uh, correct. The youngest. The youngest. Continue. The same, lo mismo. Uh -huh. my, my son is nine year old. Years old. Ah, okay, done. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What, is the, what is the subject? The other of my sons. What is the verb? Is. Is. And the complement? 18 years old. 80 years. The same here, lo mismo que. Okay. Subject. All this is the subject. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El más joven de mis uh -huh. hijos. Is nine, nine years old. Nine years old. Ahí está. Simple. Okay. But we need to know how we say it. Another option. Otra opción que no sea. The older, the youngest. What is what is the name of your older uh, son? Uh, Joel, what is the name? William, uh, Louis. William. What is the name? Ah, el nombre. Uh -huh, the name, correct. Uh, my name is Brian. Ah, but the name of your son. El nombre de su, de su, de su hijo mayor. Uh -huh. My name is Brian. Ah, ahí sería. Uh -huh. His. Uh, his. Uh -huh. his. His name. Is Brian Joel. Brian. Uh, Brian. Uh -huh. And he is, y luego, this part, y luego esta part, check. It Can is, you read it? ¿Lo puede leer? His name is Brian, y he is 18 years old. Okay, this is another option, esta es otra opción. Okay. The same for your youngest brother, lo mismo para su hijo, el, el menor. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is his, his name? His name is correct. Is Hassan. 
I, he is Niger Hall. What is his name? Excuse me. What is his name? Jason. Ah, Jason. Mm -hmm. And? He, he is Niger Hall. Okay, pretty good. Nine years old. Okay, second option, option number three in the shortest. La opción tres y la más corta. Brian, beginning with the name, con el nombre. Brian is? Is 80 years old. 18 years old. And? Jason, he is nine years old. Nine years old. Okay, pretty good. Check. Aquí está la estructura. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. And the option three, the same, lo mismo. Subject, the verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. If you yeah. don't the structure, si domina la estructura, no problem. Simple sentences. Así, simple sentence. I have two children. Ah, uh, for example, about what did I say about my grandmother? ¿Cómo comencé con mi abuela? Remember, guys, when I gave my description? ¿Cómo comencé? Remember? I no? don't know. She is 86 years old. Uh, she is my grandmother. Empecé diciendo, she is my okay. grandmother. That's it. Okay. Luego, what did I say? ¿Qué dije? Uh, about the, the age? About her age. La acerca de la edad de ella. Ah, she's around, let's see, 93 years old, I said. Eso di. Lo mismo que acá, que los ejemplos. She is. Ah, but in this, in this one. Ok. Practiqué esa estructura y después va a poder decir cualquier cosa, como sea. Pero la estructura lleva un orden. Subject, very complement in the affirmative. Ok, in the affirmative. Ok, guys. I paste my photo in, in WhatsApp too. Ah, in the WhatsApp. Oh, ok, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's check. Ah, ok, give your description. Uh, ok, a, a little fast. Uh, no problem. Well, she, she is my sister and... He is my father. Perfect. Um, she is uh, around 35 years old, and my father he is around uh, 65 years old. Okay. Um, uh, she have red hair. No, no uh, she, she have red curly hair and uh, he have he has a uh, short hair and a mustache <laughs> a mustache yes i see it yes, he has a mustache that's right okay yeah. very good okay very good uh okay guys i know that uh we sometimes we need vocabulary. Please use the questions about the description in the answers. You have examples in this part. In adjectives, you can use adjectives, tall, short, etc. etc. Practice that. Practice the structure. Practicing esto, you will be fine. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And uh, see you tomorrow for class number three of the week. Thank you guys for joining. See you. Have a wonderful Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good night. Thank you so much. Take care.